Are you guys an item now? <laughs> I think that's <laughs> our <laughs> Can you listen to me? In the house, you had opinions. Wait, People had opinions about you, but he never changed how I felt about you. Are you listening to me? Exactly. So I'm so what are you wondering how he came you outside? I was angry about you. You got my jacket. Hello guys, welcome back again to my YouTube channel. My name is Oyinda. Please, if you haven't subscribed, do well to hit that subscribe button right now, please. So today I'm bringing you all the gist about episode 8, day 8 of the Big Brother Reunion Show 2022. So, to be very honest guys, today's episode, I feel like there was no need for it to be aired. There wasn't much, but let me just give you a summary of what happened. So, Epoca showed us the whole saga and Nini, the Sanini ship, the high moments in the house, all the lovey-dovey things Saga and Nini did under the shades, and just talking basically, nothing much. The Saga and Nini relationship slash friendship. So, Epoca comes back and asks them, asks Saga that if he just asked him basically surrounding the relationship that what does he think about the whole relationship especially given the fact that nini kept hammering over and over again that she had a boyfriend outside the house that if him as saga was at home watching his babe on national tv and his babe was getting really close to another guy that was always lying down with her will him as saga in the house feel comfortable and feel okay with it. Saga says no. So Ibuka said he has answered the whole question. Then goes to Nini and said, she that was saying every time that she had a relationship outside the house, that what happened? That why was she still giving Saga the green light? So Nini just kept going on and on and on and on and on about the whole thing that if Saga never asked her um, to, to be his girlfriend, in the house and whatever saga did she was reciprocating but people seem to only see what saga was doing so that saga will ask her how she is he um, cooks for him but she too, she always brings water for him and all that but to her it was a two-way street epoca says that eh, but you said that your boyfriend is going to break the tv because of all this lovey dovey that you and saga were doing how were you saying that if you said it wasn't that deep nini said it was all bands and there was nothing serious about it in an enclosed space and then there's that one person you've really connected with and you guys have an amazing friendship you're not going to keep that up because of perception that he likes you and like Saka said Saka never asked me for a relationship in the house and I never repeatedly tell him so we talked about it maybe two times and all the times we talked about it was fans when I would say you buy me TV for me because I'm sure my TV is broken now but I never needed to tell him every time or tell him, oh, you can't do this, you're not in a relationship because he never crossed the boundary. We would just enjoy it. So Ebuka goes ahead to ask Nina, the, the relationship with this her boyfriend at home, how is it? That are they still together? Are they fine? And Nini goes that she didn't want to talk about her relationship outside the house. And Ebuka, it may seem as though <laughs> Ebuka was disappointed in that answer, but he moved on. So now, what's up with your relationship with your boyfriend? I don't want to talk about my relationship on the show. Fair enough. Are you guys an item now? <laughs> I think that the answer correct you would be. Good friends with good friends. But I see, but I see friends, okay. Ebuka asked Queen sorry ask white money about their relationship and he says that he's very cool with queen that he just realized that he was blocked the whole back and forth was about queen saying that what is it that you did to me that will make me block you do you know that is now i'm trying to i, I realize that it's whatsapp you blocked me all this while we are talking of block my category check i'm not on instagram i got a rumor that 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 is someone from my fan my from my fan base was attacking her they are themselves me, I don't know these things. I don't know. 
white money said he didn't understand why queen blocked him on instagram so queen comes up and say as she was chatting to white money and messaging and messaging white money that she realized that in the middle of the chat that white money had blocked her and white money said he didn't really understand that he didn't block her anywhere so he didn't really understand what she was saying queen says that he was he's not even ready to make peace with her because if he was ready to make peace with her that they seen severally after that because white money had earlier claimed that he has tried to talk to uh, queen and he's not going on queen said he's lying she was actually calm i was actually shocked that queen was calm to talk to white money queen said that he was lying that there were several occasions that they've met and even to say hello and tender that okay oh queen how are you i want to talk to that white money never did it and white money was like Ebuka asked if he was having any issues with her. He was like, he doesn't have any issues that he's water and he doesn't have enemy. That he's cool with her. And Queen said, yeah, that they are fine. And Ebuka moves on and said, that's what he just wanted to hear. That he's not saying that they should settle their differences there and then. That he just wanted to hear it. So Ebuka moves back to peace. The triad between peace, Nini, and Aaron. So he moves to Peace, Nini, and Arin and asks that what really happened between this relationship. So um, Peace answered that she, um, Ebuka asked Peace if she was having an issue with Saga, sorry, with Nini. So Peace said that she wasn't having an issue with Nini, but apparently Nini and Saga had an issue with her. That when she had come out of the house, that's when she realized that Nini and Saga had an issue with her. And it was about her saying that Saga... <coughs> keeps following nini like a fly peace says she didn't say it and that even if she had said it that okay she didn't say it and that they were just hearing voices and they just pinned the voice to her and peace said that she didn't say that even if she had said it that this is what saga owned up to every day until the night week he carried it with his chest even to big brother so why should it be an issue with with them if he was owning and that she didn't even say it but that they're having an issue with her but she's not really that that's what was happening anyways so Ebuka turns to Nini that what is the issue between her and Ari Nini goes on and says that uh, Ari said something about her that she didn't like and um, she kept a comment on on Cross's post just the whole, whole thing they spoke about on day one or was it day two they kept going on and on. Um, Nini would say, um, Aaron is a troublemaker. Aaron would say, Oh my, even Aaron, they were ex talking so much that Aaron's earrings even fell down. They were sure just going on and on. Nini and Aaron, and earrings was in their middle. It was like a seat, a couch like this. So it was, um, um Aaron, earrings, and Nini. So, Earrings was in the middle of the both of them. So uh, Nini will say her own, Ari will say her own, Nini will say her own. So Earrings even got so fed up at a point that he even <laughs> screamed that they should just apologize to themselves already. That all this banter is not necessary. Like, I wasn't even getting the whole vibe. They should just apologize to themselves. Rich, are you listening to me? In the house, you had opinions. People had opinions about you, but he never changed how I felt about you. Are you listening to me? Exactly. So I'm so what you wondering how he came think? outside. I was and angry about you. You apologize, man. So it's just the whole back and forth of what they already said before. Like he placed a comment and Nini claimed that most of the trouble she got dragged about after the house or online was the gossip that she got involved in with Ari and Peace. So they just kept going, going, going. Anyways, they shout stay um, come came to a conclusion and said that she was sorry for how she treated. Um, Aaron apologized because I felt like Aaron was still feeling embarrassed. You know, I said in my other video, I'll link, link it in the card if you've not seen it, so you go and watch it. I said Aaron was having, em was feeling embarrassed the way she and Nini were going back and forth. So I think she was still feeling embarrassed. So she just apologized after years. The years wanted her to stand up and push Aaron to the middle so he can stay at the edge and they can have their banter side by side. But Aaron apologized and asked if she could hear another apology from nini so nini ended up apologizing to harry and if can now say oh you know Ibuka is all for peace if was are like oh can we have a hug let's just hug it out they hugged and all that harry wasn't smiling after the hug guys but nini was smiling and that was it
that was how the show ended so there was a short show nothing major really happened i'm trying to see if i forgot anything anyways guys if i forgot anything i'll bring it to you tomorrow thank you guys for watching please like comment share and subscribe until day nine tomorrow's episode bye subscribe